So I'm just um, going to show you a few close-ups of the of the foot and the toes in the rain. Uh, Klaus Donner, myself, Peter and Louise arrived here uh, hoping to do a nice little video clip insert and it's been pouring for two hours in the car but nevertheless we're going to show you a few close-ups so to show you that the, the material inside and outside is the same the overhang of the toes is really interesting and uh, look at the, the, the rough granite here on the outside and the effect on the inside that's the big toe I pull back a bit get an effect It's interesting, it's not cut out into a, into a flat piece of rock. It's cut out in a very strange, for those that think this is a, a forged carving, um, it's certainly highly unlikely that somebody would carve it in such an unusual place. And um, once again, inside, and down here so Mr. Donner what do you have to say about this? What it's amazing I saw several pictures uh, before there were also some scientists here like uh, Professor James Hurtak and uh, he checked uh, this footprint very carefully and uh, he said and he told me also that uh, this is not uh, done, uh, artificial done, this is a real human footstep and the size is about uh, 120 centimeters and that giant uh, would be uh, tall around seven, seven, seven and a half meters and uh, that gets a connection to the giant bones from Ecuador this giant there also had the size of about seven and a half meters. I'm glad uh, you brought that up because I was going to ask you, there, there's obviously an, an exciting link between this footprint and the giants that you found in, in South America or in Ecuador. That's right. yeah. Yes. All right, now if you could just stand over there and point out a few things that, that might be of interest to you. Um, that For me very interesting is that uh, if you step uh, into a soft uh, mud, automatically the mud at your teeth, uh, at your uh, uh, toes, will go out like here and it looks uh, really like someone was stepping into a soft mud. The important thing just to explain as well, we know this is not mud, this is granite. For those that are wondering, it is granite, there's no doubt about it. How this happened remains a mystery because many people will argue that it's impossible to leave a footprint in granite because where and how granite is formed. And just to also tell the people the history of this footprint, it was discovered in uh, 1912 by a farmer uh, in the area called Stoffel Kutsia who was hunting. And he found it in those days, this was a very remote part of South Africa and the Transvaal and he found it while hunting and to, to find something like this in the middle of nowhere in those days this, this was teeming with wildlife and um, there were probably lions and buck here and other antelope and giraffe and uh, and to find something like this you know is highly suspicious to suggest that somebody would sneak out here and carve it out one would need to look at the erosion on the inside matches the erosion on the outside there are obviously uh, uh, certain discrepancies but that's because of the compaction and the, the, the impact that the footprint would have had but otherwise there is no suggestion whatsoever that this was a fake or a carving and uh, we'll stick to that until somebody proves anything else um, you should try to bring here some uh, very good geologists also to check this and if possible also a uh, professional 
uh, doctor checking also the the food by, uh, print itself because the only skeptical thing I always have to be skeptical also is that from here to here it's the, the, the difference here is too big usually it should be like that and here this one that's the only thing I have to be skeptic so yeah. I think it would be very good to bring here also some theory all right, so there you've got it. Um, that's me in my raincoat. Just to show you that there is a live person on the other side of the camera. And there's Louise hiding from the rain. <laughs> okay, my darling, you can come back under the umbrella. <laughs> okay, signing off from the giant footprint. Uh, and by the way, it's about a 45 degree climb up here. This is not a little hill. It's a very <laughs> steep climb to get up here for those of you that are calling me a fat, uh, unfit little piglet <laughs> from the previous video clip. Uh, signing off.